Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a unique challenge that many database users encounter. Our viewer is looking to load a CSV file directly into a Redshift table without using S3 or the copy command. They have insert privileges, but are unsure if it's feasible to achieve this using SQL Workbench J. Let's dive into the details and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To load a CSV file directly into a Redshift table without using S3, we can utilize the insert command. Since you have insert privileges, this method is feasible. First, you'll need to read the CSV file in your SQL Workbench J environment. You can do this by using a programming language like Python or a tool that can read CSV files and execute SQL commands. Once you have the CSV data, you can construct insert statements for each row. For example, if your table has three columns, your insert statement would look like this. Insert into your table, Col 1, Col 2, Col 3, values, value 1, value 2, value 3. You can automate this process by looping through each row of the CSV file and executing the insert command for each one. This can be done in your script. Finally, be aware that inserting a large number of rows this way can be slow. If performance becomes an issue, consider batching your inserts to reduce the number of transactions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To load a CSV into Redshift without using S3, the best method is the copy command. However, you can also use the insert command with a Python script. To use the insert method, establish a connection to Redshift using Psychope 2 then iterate through your CSV file and execute an insert query for each row. Remember, using insert row by row is much slower and less efficient compared to the copy command. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can load data into Redshift directly from a remote host using the copy command. This method allows you to bypass S3. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.